Hi everybody, it's Kayla and welcome back to The Sims 4 Westbrook Legacy. So today, I'm just very amused. Okay, but like real talk, what are they doing and why are they holding a line? I have so many questions, not enough answers. And today's not one of the days brought to you by Daniela and it is this thing. And I'm not going to say it because I'm not going to fail. Last week I failed and didn't even notice. I couldn't say, um, what was, the, oh, I couldn't say plot twist and I did and didn't even notice. So, you know, what a flop. But this week I'm not, I'm not failing today. Not today, Satan. So uh, this is the thing I can't say again. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Daniela. And I'm going to try very hard to not say it. Now, we're going to go ahead and pretend that today is a little bit far in the future. And uh, we're going to do some things to fix some problems. And <laughs> uh, so we're going to age out the baby today. But I named the baby Blair last week and didn't even realize until the end that I have a sim named Claire already in this series and I can't really have a sim called Blair also because that's just a little bit too much to have like a cousin be it's just it, no so we're gonna age her up and rename her Margo uh because it just makes more sense so uh we're gonna do that today and we're going to pray to God that she ends up having red hair because I just want a redheaded Westbrook baby. So we're going to come, I think, I want to have Lucy just come, like, hang out with her sister for a second because I want some good screenies of them together, uh, which is probably pretty sad to like, be worried about that. But you know what? You got to do what you got to do. And we're going to do it right now. And, you know, while we're sitting here talking, you know, chatting, if you didn't watch my speed build last weekend, you should have because I finally made the Westbrook bookstore. I was going to make it a long, 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 long time ago, but I never got around to it because I was always so busy and I didn't have a, like, an idea for it and it was just a rough time. But I finally made one and, you know, you can watch it last week. It's pretty cool. And we're going to go tour it today. But if you want to watch the speed build first, I would go do that now and I'll link it down below and then you can come back and watch this and blah, blah, blah. Let's get some more screenies though. My precious baby look at her little sister she is so tan too how did that happen i mean i guess her dad is pretty tan but like that is a really tan baby compared to her sister i'm so like did you just get that become a parent thing fam you've had like a bajillion kids i don't understand what you're i mean a bajillion he's, he's got three kids but that's close enough but look at my all right, I want to age her up like right now. I just want to get some good screenings of her family with her because I don't want to miss out on these precious, precious moments, you know? I mean, real, it doesn't really matter because we could get a picture with any baby and be like, oh yeah, it's our sister, but we wouldn't know. So we're going to have Belle come up here, I think, and age up the baby. Oh, please, God, Margo, we, and her name is, Bla her middle name is Blair. Her name is Margo Blair Westbrook, uh, which doesn't make any sense, but it, you know? Margo Blair Westbrook. Yeah, that's her name. And we're gonna, I'm, okay. Cause listen, oh, oh wait, I'm not, I'm, I'm, no, please, please let her have red hair. Please. No, oh my God, she's got black hair. I'm dying it red, I'm dying it red. I don't care what you say, I'm dying her hair red. It, no, she will have red hair. No, I'm so angry, I just wanted her to have red. Okay, Kayla, Kayla. <laughs> oh, she's got, listen. She will have red hair. Babies are born with black hair and it turns red sometimes. Okay, that's perfectly normal. We're going to randomize her trait though because this is a legacy challenge. Well, it's not a, it's not a legacy challenge, but it, it is. You, you know, it is, but it's not. It's not, but it is. That. Okay, I don't want that. <laughs> um, no mean sims. Not today, Satan. And, okay, no, I don't want that. Oh my, I, my eyes are closed. I'm trying to scroll, but I don't want the. No, 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 no. Okay. Are you joking? Three times. It happened three times. Stop. No, are you? No. Okay. What? <laughs> I get, this is not my day. All right, Margot Blair, whatever your name is, you're really testing my patience. We're going to call her, make her, what am I saying? We're, she will be, okay. So what are her siblings? What is Lucy? I don't even remember. I think that Margot is, um, she is a perfectionist. That works. And she really wants to to be an artistic prodigy, I don't know. All right, well, Margo, we gotta we gotta get a good look at you. Um, why is she? How is she? Okay, I've got so many questions. Why is she downstairs already? All right, testing sheets on. Cast dot full edit mode. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm nervous. <laughs> We're gonna change her name to Margo. It's gonna be real cute. And uh, okay, she's gonna have red hair. Well, before we even don't even look at her. Don't even look at her. Don't look at her. She's got. Oh look, she's got red hair and demon eyes. Hey. 
great. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna give her uh, less. These demon eyes I learned come from my default replacement eyes for adults. They make the children have these terrifying eyes. So what color eyes does Belle have? I think we're gonna give her like, make her look like a mini Belle. So Belle's got blue eyes. I think that yeah, you can have blue eyes, Margo. We're, her name will be Margo. See, now everything is fixed. Margo Westbrook now has, uh, you know, <laughs> demon eyes and red hair. Look, it's Margo Westbrook. See how cute is, oh, I told you. I knew she would be cute. I just, I had to fix some things. And now, see, all right, I'm gonna do this off camera and come back in a second. Okay, we're back. I finished her makeover and I just, ugh, she's so adorable. Look at my little redheaded baby. <sighs> All right, I'm ready. It's fine. It's fine. Look at how cute she is. We got precious little Margot Westbrook. I gave her some freckles. I gave her her, you know, bright blue eyes. She's got a cute little headband thing going on. We've got her classic, you know, shirt skirt combo, her pretty floral dress thing, her athletic wear, her sleepwear, her party wear, and her swimwear. And I just, we have a, I like purple a lot. I don't know. These Sims all like purple. Her sister does. Her mom, like, this is like a purple family. I don't know. But she's precious and I just, huh, okay. I have wanted a redheaded baby for so long, and we finally got our little redheaded Westbrook baby, and I'm just, I'm gonna cry. Okay, moving on. Uh, I also checked her out as a teen to see how she looks, because usually my Sims can be kind of ugly as teens, but she's not even ugly as a teen. She's actually really pretty, so it's just a win-win situation. We can't lose here. You know, this is great. Absolutely fantastic. I'm so excited. I, huh, okay, I'm gonna do her bedroom off camera too, but not today. Instead, we're going to go and hang out at Belle's new bookstore because if you remember back, the original goal of this series was to have Belle purchase a bookstore in honor of her dead father. You know her dead father, <laughs> William Westbrook Sr., um, who we named our son after. Yeah, so she, Belle Westbrook is based off of Beauty and the Beast. And <laughs> if you didn't know, now you know. Uh, and basically, it's like 9 a.m. on a Saturday. We're going to go to the bookstore now, I think, actually. We're all going to get changed, actually, first. I well, no, we'll just go. So Belle is loosely based on Beauty and the Beast, and so she loves to read and write and she used to go to this bookstore with her dad all the time when she was younger and we you know it was like decrepit and gross and then they can't like closed it and it was sad and terrible and then her dad died and so she can't go there anymore but when she got enough money she went and she bought it refurbished it and now she owns said bookstore but instead of making it like a retail lot I made it into a cafe so we can actually go there as like a hangout instead of buying books because bookstores in the sims 4 are kind of useless and so I built this um you know, cafe kind of deal. So it's like a pretend bookstore, uh, which I think works a little bit better. And so I, you'll see in a second, it's really cute. And I'm so proud of it. And I just, I love my Sim babies. And we're gonna go visit there now and kind of hang out at the West Books Cafe. Yes, not Westbrook, West Book. Oh, get it? It's like a dumb joke, but in the, <laughs> in the Westbrook legacy, I'm so excited. Oh, you guys, I get so worked up with my own Sims. I just love them so much. I'm going to cry, okay. But hey, I haven't said the not word of the day yet, so I mean, I don't think I have. Maybe I, oh, I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure I didn't. If I did, then shoot, I lost again. But I don't, I don't have a reason to say it yet. No one showed up naked at my doorstep or, you know, done anything that would make me want to say that it's, you know, that word. I want to say it's so bad. It's so frustrating. Okay, but we're here and let's all, guys, put some clothes on. So the story behind this is that Bella's been saving up for a long, long, long time to buy this bookstore and she finally has enough money to do it and uh, she purchased it, turned into this cafe, but it's just, it's not like a retail lot because the Sims 4 those suck. So instead we have this super cute new bookstore and you can see it's kind of old looking, but she obviously refurbished it a lot and I have a speed build, like I said, on my channel, which you can check out and stuff and watch me build it and things and whatnot. But it's so cute and I just love it so, so very much. It's like a cool back area over here, uh, which you can come back, like maybe sit next to this random bird feeder and just chill. You can come inside and you can, you know, purchase some coffee upstairs uh, from Eliza, the one and only Eliza Pancakes. That's fantastic. I love that she works here. Uh, you can also go downstairs and I don't know, read some books, hang out with this chess table. Oh no. My objects are missing. There's supposed to be a bookshelf on this side, but I guess it doesn't need to be there. Who, ne who needs to place all those things I spent all this time placing? But it's a cute place. And I like it a lot. And you can, like, you know, come use a computer. There's two, I think, on this lot. Yeah, there's one upstairs, too. 
and I just like it a lot. So a lot, like because it's a lot, get it? But it's a really cool place because I wanted it to be this hangout people could come by and you know sit and read instead of you know come and purchase a book and have useless objects like the retail lots in The Sims 4. Because those, not gonna lie, are pretty dumb. But this place, this place is usable. So we're gonna keep it this way. And look, we've got Eliza pancakes. This is fantastic. You guys have no idea how excited I am about this right now. Also, Lucy's ordering coffee. See, this is great. Now I think. Oh. Oh, we probably got some people wearing the pants. Oh, is Lucy wearing those pants? Oh, yeah, okay. So I figured out last week, too, what was causing my Sims to all be embarrassed. It is these jeans that Lucy is wearing, which I will take off of her right now, and then we'll fix that problem, too, all in one big old swoop, <laughs> you know? Because this, I think the creator of these jeans is working on them, but they are the cutest jeans in the entire world, but they make your Sims embarrassed, so you have to change them. But I think I have some good ones I can replace them. I don't know what kind of jeans I've got going. I mean, these I'm over. I use these all the time, and I'm kind of over it. So I'm going to use something different now, like these, which are close. Oh, see, those are close enough, and I like them a lot. Oh, Lucy is so cute. Don't you just want to cry? Huh. I love my Sims. I do, I do. All right, but we're going to come here. I think we're going to invite over some friends, uh, some friends of Lucy's, like Cliff, that boyfriend, not boyfriend, but like boy who's a friend. Because I, I want to date Cliff, man. What is this episode 39? Oh no! <laughs> Next week is the last episode. I'm going to cry. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm not ready for this. I'm so. Oh, huh. Okay, well, that's really, really not good. <laughs> That hurts me, like, deeply. I don't want the series to end. Wait, no, I'm not, ra oh, okay, that puts a real damper on things, huh? Okay, but listen, you guys, I talked about it last week, but, oh, I canceled out her drink, whoops. All right, but I talked about it last week. Uh, we are ending this series, but only until January when season two is coming back, which sounds like a long time, but really it's not that long from now, or, you know, far from now, and it's gonna come back, and it's gonna be better than ever. I already have some plans for it, so don't worry, don't fret, and also we're gonna look at all the screenings from the whole season. Uh, uh, on the 8th of October. So get ready for that too. I'm gonna do like a reaction video on my screen. It's gonna be so cute and fun. I just, I did it last year for Get Together. I'm gonna do it again for this because it's kind of fun to like reback, <laughs> re look back and react. Nice work, Kayla, to all the things I took. Because I've done this series since January of last year, of like 2015. So it's almost been a whole year since I've done it and, or started it. And so that's like a whole year of gameplay. And I want, I just, I can't wait to look back on it and, you know, relive those fun memories. I just, I love these Sims so much. Oh, why do we have gummy fish? Did we go camping? When did we go camping? Invite to hang out at Current Lot, please. All right, we're going to just invite over Cliff. And we got some more randoms here, like uh, this person, Camilla Bernard. Barnard, I don't, mm, that's rough. But hey, Cliff Lockwood's coming over to check out the grand opening of our new place. Uh, looks like William Westbrook Jr. He really loves to... Oh, it's Bridget Guzman. Of course, Bridget Guzman comes to the opening. She wouldn't miss it for the world. I love Bridget Guzman, you guys. I'm going to miss her the most out of everybody. <laughs> She's the best. Okay, but can we... You know what? There's space in this lot to buy, like, uh, some sort of thing for the kids. I'm going to purchase... Ooh, I don't know. I kind of want to just grab, like, one of those thingy boppers, You know, like, one of these thingy boppers, and just place it out here. It's kind of dangerous because, like, there's no grass, but... Hey, the kids can play on it and it'll be fun because I just, I feel like we need a thing for the kids to do while they're here because uh, as of right now, there isn't much for them here. So you can come play on this along with your sister. My new baby's going to come play. She's so cute. I'm going to cry. Oh, I need to compose myself. This is a lot. Get to know Blake. Yeah, talk to your dad. Make something of excellent quality. You, that too. And you want to also talk to, no one knows Blake apparently. They want to all get to know him. And you, okay, are you you're like great. He's in the bachelor's club. Oh, from the wedding. Oh, what a throwback. But they're good friends. What do you mean? Lucy is your friend here. Your friend. Your friend. Get it? Because they're not friends. I mean, they're friends, but like they're going to be more than friends real soon. Where is he? Cliff. <laughs> Invite him over. Come on, buddy. Let's go. And what does she want? She wants to lock a door because she's a teen. Typical, typical. And also plant something. Oh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just kidding. I don't want to do that. But you guys, I like this lot a lot. That's, I need to get some better wording because that sounds like really dumb. I like it a lot, a lot. Like this lot a lot. But hey, you know what? It's pretty darn cute. And I worked real hard on it. And I'm proud of it. So, oh, it's Nancy Landgrab. You know who's a creep? Nancy Landgrab. Remember Mostly Ghostly Season 1? Maybe you don't. If you don't, now you do. Uh, basically, she murdered her whole family, and uh, I murdered her for it. So, 
Hey, what a throwback, <laughs> but she's so weird looking. I want to give, I thought about doing like a townie makeover series on my Tumblr uh, at some point in the future, near future, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. Maybe, we'll see, but that'd be kind of fun, right, to go through and make over all the townies in every world <laughs> because that'd be a lot of work, but hey, they could really use my help, you know, like Nancy, Nancy Landgrab could use some help, but why, why aren't the Sims here? Look, Belle, okay. Belle's going to be a good, you know, hostess and talk to Ricky Steele. I love Ricky Steele. Just talk to them all, you know, make your rounds. Oh, she's got work today? Dude, we don't need to work. We are a bookstore owner. I mean, not really, but like just pretend. But really, we are a bookstore owner. We don't need to go to work. This is an outrage. Where is also, where is Lucy's friend? This is going terribly. Where is he? I just want him to come over and hang out with me. You know what we'll do? We'll travel, meet him somewhere, and then come back here right? Right? Because that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. We'll just go out, meet him, put him in my household so I can actually play with him, fix this whole problem thing, and then come back. Because that makes perfect sense, like I said before. And you know what? It, loading screens suck, but hey, it's worth it if we can get a boyfriend for Lucy in these last two episodes. <laughs> so that's my main goal here. Also, next week, I want to play with... Oh, you know what I should do? You know what I should do? I should play with Ariana this one last time because I don't want to play with her next week. I don't want to do the last episode and have Ariana in it. That's going to suck. So we're going to... Oh, boy. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's sad. I want to play with Cliff, though. Let's go to Willow Creek real fast, meet up with Cliff, talk to him for a second, and then go see what Ariana's deal is because we've got... Oh, no. I gave this same hair to... <gasps> oh, this is a real plot twist. The hair that I gave to... Margo, I'm, I was going to forget her name for a second, but I didn't. I knew it. It's Margo. Uh, I also gave to Dakota, um, Dakota, whatever, Dakota Rivers, Dakota Rivers. That's her name. And her husband, her, you know, that's a, that's a mess. That storyline is a mess because we got Ariana Rivers, my main Sims husband's ex-girlfriend who had an affair with Johnny Zest, but is married to, uh, Ronald Contreras, uh, Oh, God. So much drama. I don't want to worry about her. Like, she ruins everything. Okay, well, we're back here, and we're just going to talk to our good old buddy Cliff. Maybe show off our outfit to him. I don't know. Monkey around a bit. Are you kidding me? Are you joking me? You're really taking a selfie like this right in front of me? You're gross, Cliff. <laughs> Why? Oh, are you impressed with your own selfie? He's like, yeah, that's going on the Instagram. On the Insta. Is that what people say these days? I don't use Instagram. But on Snapchat, though, and Twitter, follow me, at Lil Simsy. I'm pretty great, not gonna lie. Also, Ricky Steele is here, too. He's everywhere. That's kind of weird. All right, I just, I'm a mess right now, you guys. Listen, want to hear a funny story? So today is Thursday when I'm recording this, and I uploaded today the 100 Baby Challenge, but I, like, uploaded it last night, um, and I uploaded Fixer Upper twice. So I uploaded like on Wednesday and Thursday, but I didn't know that I uploaded again. So I uploaded the wrong video today and it was a disaster. So that's funny. Uh, don't be a little Simsy. Don't upload the wrong video because you'll be embarrassed. Also, Tara, what is wrong with you? Are you Sage or you're Sage? <gasps> Other thing. Okay. At my school, there's a girl called Sage Westbrook. Not even lying. Conspiracy, right? Sage Westbrook? No. Sage Rivers, Ariana's creepy daughter. Who's less, I mean, we can be friends with her. She's kind of cute. Look at this, like, honestly, squad goals. Oh, wait, hold on. Can you, can you, oh, try and cheer her. I get, I don't want to talk to her, but, like, if a sad girl comes up to you at the park and you get to talk to them because you can't just, like, blow her off, you know, we're here with our almost boyfriend, but she's feeling real upset and we don't want to leave her at the park all by herself, even though I don't like her very much. Um, <laughs> we can't just blow her off, though. Man, Sage, you want to just go away? I'm trying to woo this person. And, of course, she's here. Let's... Oh, Belle's gone now. Darn. Okay, let's give him a heartfelt compliment, though. Stop. No, no. Are you joking? Are you joking me? No, we don't... <sighs> this is a good screenshot, though, because we got these two and then Cliff just standing above them like, what am I supposed to do here? I'm not involved in this. <laughs> They're just laying on the floor, synchronized cloud gazing, typical just day in the life of the Westbrooks, you know, synchronized cloud gazing, getting all that dirt in your hair. Oh, here we go. Sing <laughs> That's creepy. Real, real creepy. Lucy, what are you doing? Okay, I'm done. I'm done with you.
you ah oh, i didn't mean press build mode we're gonna go into live mode and we're gonna go into just go to manage worlds and then i want to go back into the ariana rivers household because we gotta figure out this you know mistress mr whatever lover drama boy oh boy okay because let's talk it out for a second remember back in the day when ariana was you know seeing johnny zest yeah so uh, they have a child together, but nobody knows that she's Johnny Zest's child, uh, except for Ariana, who maybe doesn't even, I mean, she's got blonde hair, though. Like, how did she get blonde hair from Ariana, brown hair, and Ronald Contreras, also brown hair? Like, it doesn't make any sense. So, I mean, I think everyone's got, like, a sneaking suspicion that she's been having an affair with this, you know, help because Johnny, like, lives in their house and does, I don't know what he does. He, like, works for them or something. I forget what he does. He's, you know, the hired help. And so he's got this child that nobody even realizes is his. And she's so bitter looking. Ugh. What's your... I, I bet you she knows he's her dad. She knows he's... Oh, she knows he's her dad. Yeah, you can tell just from her face looking at him. Wow. Okay. This is, <laughs> this is great. Also, Tara's busy having, like, her whole... I'm homeless drama, even though she's not homeless. She's just trying to get attention. Ah, what else is new? Oh, she wanted to date Malcolm Landgrab, didn't she? Oh, we didn't do that. No, I forgot about that drama. <laughs> but what else is new? All right, I think I'm going to... Man, poor old Ronald is going to drop dead soon, and he's not. he doesn't even know that his wife's been cheating on him. You know what I want to do? I just want, I want to stir up some problems. So I think we're going to come in here and we're going to just, you know, have these two do some woohooing because that's what they do. And then, oh wait, pause, pause, pause. I almost said the bad word that I can't say today. You know that word? Yeah, I almost said it, but I didn't. So I win, but we're going to have them come woohoo in here. And then we're going to have Ronald walk in on them uh, just because it's going to be kind of fun if I do that. So we're going to have that happen. Uh, you know what? Maybe give him a heart attack. What else? Because he, oh, oh. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> he already saw, he already saw, oh, this guy knows, he knows now. All right, but imagine his, this experience for him, he just found out that his wife not only has been cheating on him this whole time, but one of his children isn't even his child. Like, that sucks, man. And Johnny's up here just like, oh, yeah, sorry about it, bud. Oh, I, I love the, I mean, I hate these Sims, but I love, I love Ronald. Man, what a throwback to the beginning of this series. I just, I, okay. Well, I, I still want to, I want to try and get him to die by anger. Can we do that today? Is that like a final goal for this series is to kill Ronald off? He was supposed to die a long time ago because Ariana just wanted his money, uh, but he never died. So she's just been sitting here waiting for him to die so she can move on, get his house, all that. But it never happened. So she's just, just waiting, uh, watching and awaiting. And Ronald, 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 my friend, my good old buddy friend, come in here right now. Are you, dude, are you not even looking? Do you know what's happening right in front of you? Like, do you see what's going on right now? This is, <laughs> hey, buddy, uh, <laughs> your wife's in there. This is not good. This is real. What am I doing? Oh, God, <laughs> the stress. Now he's going to be so sad. Oh, so angry. Me too. Well, actually, I'm less angry. I'm, you know, is, oh, flirty spouse, unfaithful, oh, God. <laughs> I want to try and make him more angry. <gasps> what? He's going to hit her? Oh, no, you're not going to hit her. He's going to hit her? Ronald, I felt bad for you, but if you're going to hit her, oh, I don't, I don't stand for that. Oh, no. <laughs> hey there, bud. This is, this is crossing the line. Like, I know she's been cheating on you and all that, but this, we don't hit women or anyone. Oh, my. <gasps> no, this is bad. This is real bad. Okay, well, you know what? Johnny, he just hit your girlfriend right in front of you. We don't stand for that. No, no, no. You're going to come here and, I don't know, um, yell at him. How dare you? And then, I don't know, like, um, insult him because he's fat and old. That's what he's going to say. Yeah, and, you know, yell at him again. I want, him, I want him to die. This is really bad of me, but I want him to die. I want him to have a heart attack and just drop dead because that makes sense. And that's going to fix all of Ariana's problems. Or she'll murder him. Both will fix it. Because if, if she gets a divorce with him, 
Oh, that's going to cause her so many problems. So she can't have that. Oh, no, no. So, oh, this is getting real. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, Westbrooks. We got stuff to do. People to yell out. People to murder. You know how it goes. Uh, I'm just going to imply that his mother's a llama. I don't know. Casually, like, jeer at him. Mock his weird pants. Just casual stuff. Uh, and then fight him. Fight, 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 fight. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's going to happen. It's going down. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is making my whole day. All right, this is good. This is good. I'm sorry, Ronald, about this. Like, I didn't mean to kill you, but look, you got to do what you got to do. I. What if Ronald wins the fight? That would be a real plot twist. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, got to get this greenies. This is very important for the series as a whole. He's going to die in his child's room after fighting his child. This is this is what's her faces room. <gasps> no! Ronald won the fight? Whoa! Pull it! What? How? Oh, talk about the underdog. Okay, this is this is getting real. Okay, hold on. I can't believe this. Oh no, he's enraged. Oh no, he's enraged. He's enraged. Okay, wait, wait, wait. oh, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. This is you guys. This is getting real. Okay, we're gonna let the game just run for a second uh, until Grim shows up because he's enraged. I can't, what? Oh, we gonna, let's fight him again. <laughs> it's just, you know what? Rant and rave to him. Don't take an angry poop. It's time to rant and rave. This is so, also he's got this, oh, he's got, I thought he had the elder thing because elders can die of like exhaustion, which you think would happen to him because he's old and exhausted, but it's not happening. So let's fight him again. Fight, 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 fight. Oh, now they despise each other after the, okay. Oh, Johnny's just gonna leave and go like, peace out, dude, gotta go to work. Why are they? Oh, I have so many questions. This is such a weird episode. <laughs> but look at the beautifully composed shot. Oh, Ronald lost this time. <gasps> oh, no. This is bad. This is real, real bad. Ronald still very... Oh, he's not angry. He's not enraged anymore. Oh, no. Insult his face. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, God. I didn't mean to. Oh, no. Okay. Um, Declare him an enemy. Yes. Don't, don't pee your pants. All right, well, I, oh, oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Um, 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 he's enraged again. He's enraged again. This is good. This is bad. This is okay. Um, I'm just gonna let the game run until he dies, to be honest, because <laughs> I'm not gonna fix his problems. I can't believe I did this. I'm a bad person. It's official. I'm a really, 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 <gasps> did you just kiss him? Oh, no, honey. We don't want that from you. All right, but understand the story behind this. Like, Ariana can't lose the money because she got caught cheating, but she married him for the money, and she has no real form of income. And so if they get divorced, she loses everything. And so she has he has to die before anybody finds out because otherwise she loses everything, which is just great for me, not her. That sucks for her, but yeah, she'll get over it after her husband dies. Ah, <laughs> uh, fun times. What the heck? I didn't even tell him to do this. What? What? <laughs> Oh my god, what's even happening right now? What the heck is going on? This makes negative three. Okay, whoa. Whoa. Dude. Oh, you despise each other? Is that really? I had no idea. They're fighting again. What the heck is happening right now? I just want him to die. Ugh, provoke her. I don't know. Okay, I played off camera for like a super, super long time, and he just won't die. I don't understand. He's back to being just very angry now, uh, as of very recently, and I just, I give up. He, he's invincible, apparently. He can't die, and uh, this means Ariana's life about to get a real lot harder. So we're going to talk about that next week, uh, so stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day, and so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Who would have thought it would be this hard to murder a simp? I just want him to die. Is that too much to ask for? Like, I, I spent the last 30 minutes off camera trying to kill him, and he just won't die. Ugh.